We've got our go fish cam. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Nice one. Nice one. Oh my gosh. What's the wall? Oh. This one's huge. Look at how good this Oh, oh. Welcome back to another episode. I'm down here in South Florida, meeting up with my good buddy Ryan to do some awesome fishing. But until he's available, I'm gonna do some peacock bass fishing. It's some spots that I used to live by. Peacock bass are a super beautiful exotic that the FWC put in here for sport fishing. Um, they're super invasive also, but they're super fun to catch. They're beautiful looking fish. I'm gonna try to get some awesome underwater eats and footage of these guys today. So stay tuned for that. So we're at our first spot here. Sharky three combo that I'm gonna be using for these guys. And to get the underwater bites, we've got our go fish cam. We've got a bobber rig on here. That should be perfect for these little peacock bass. I just gotta catch some live bait first and then we gotta find some peacocks. If you guys wanna purchase yourself a go fish cam, it's literally the camera that sits on your fishing line and captures the bite on camera. Sick product, absolutely awesome. All right, so we're gonna start off by throwing the cast net, try to catch some live bait. Peacock bass bite really good in the heat of the day, but they're also really picky, so you kinda need some live baits for these guys. Bluegill is perfect bait. Bluegills, shiners, um, other cichlids. Tilapia, that's what we're looking for. Oh yeah, that's gonna be the ticket right there. Oh yeah. Got a few in there, a few decent sized ones. Oh yeah, several in there, sweet. First cast. This is literally, guys, the perfect. This is a little uh, shell cracker, actually, stump knocker. These little bluegills are going to be perfect, perfect peacock bass bait, guys. We're literally going to be able to see them get eaten right in front of the camera. I can't, I can't wait. There's tadpoles everywhere. South Florida is crazy. We already got a good amount of baits in the first cast. That's awesome. Oh my God, guys! So I've been fishing about an hour. I haven't seen any peacocks. And I pull up right here, there's like a five pounder. I saw a smaller one at first, and then this guy just came out of nowhere. I'm gonna go ahead and toss out the go fish cam. I really wanna get this guy on video. All right, we are live. Oh my gosh. This thing was massive. I'm not kidding at all, guys. This thing is huge. Got our guy rigged up here on the float. I'm gonna toss out a little live bait here. Little, little bait here. I don't know. I might need to try a bigger one. This is a big fish though, so I don't know if he wants this little bait. All right guys, so I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually a ton more peacocks down there than I actually first noticed at all. There's one coming out of the tube now, two, three, the big one, that's the one that I saw initially, it's four now, four peacocks all down there that I didn't see at first, they're actually hitting the bait. <gasps> oh my god, oh, 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 he spit it out. Actually swiping at the bait, hitting it a little bit, but not getting it. You can also see right down there next to them is a, some kind of tilapia, there's a few of those also, but it looks like there's a whole school of peacocks right down next to this pipe. bigger one on here Let's see what we can do with this sir but hopefully it will cast this thing out nice and easy Oh, 
he's got it. He's got it. Nice one. Nice one. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's the big one. Oh my god. I, I mean, he's not giant. This is probably the male. But it is a freaking good one to start the day off, right? Look at that fish. Oh, no, no, no. Don't break me off on that. Yeah, that's, that is the male. He's got the hump on there. Oh, my gosh. I can't even bring him in. I don't want to break off on him. I think he's hooked in the head or something. He is. He's hooked in the head. That's such a weird way to hook him. Wow. Look at that fish. Literally not caught one of these in a long, long time. I literally haven't caught one of these in like a year at least. And of course, that's the way I hooked my first one. I don't know why. And y'all saw the bobber go under, so. Wow. Not a giant. It's like a still like a three pound fish. This is, this could be the one I saw, but I'm pretty sure I saw a bigger one down there. It's got the hump on there. Beautiful, beautiful peacock. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna take a quick picture of this guy and get him back in the water. And go for a release on this beautiful peacock. He ate the little bluegill right at my feet, right next to that tube. All right, let's get him back in the water. There he goes. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try another spot couple other spots and um yeah let's see how it is this crossroad is. up ahead is where two canals just kind of like come together and make a cross <laughs> there is a jumbo peacock right here on the way over there oh my god there's another one right next to me i don't know which one i should even go for well first things first i'm gonna turn on this camera these ones are definitely like a couple pounds bigger than the one i just caught oh my god on the go fish cam i'm just gonna cast it like way out there first Did I already get eaten? Oh yeah, there he goes. That's a monster, guys. There's a buck and there's the female. Female ate first with no problems. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Look at that jump. I'm gonna see if I can, see if I can. Oh, no, not done yet. All right, let's see if you can do it. Oh, she's still fighting. She's still fighting. Oh, she's still fighting. Oh gosh. All right, you ready? Flip or die! No! Oh my gosh. I'm so pissed. That peacock literally broke me off because I was trying to flip it. It was like a five pound, six pounder. Flip these fish. They've got really sharp mouths. That 17 pound was not gonna do anything. I was just trying not to slip down this hill here but don't don't flip these fish unless you're using like 25 pound braid or something 17 pound fluorocarbon is usually what you need though to get the bites
it's huge ridges, it's a little dead one. spot see if you can get us another one it's like a two pounder two and a half three there he goes fish cam for yourself guys if you want to get some awesome footage like this link below in the description i hope you guys enjoyed that video that was just one of many videos coming from that one south florida trip it was basically a 36 hour fishing challenge we didn't sleep at all we were fishing all night long the goal was to catch as many different species as possible in as little time as we had down in south florida so i've got a lot more videos coming out just from that one trip this is the first one just the peacocks stay tuned for more guys make sure to subscribe hit that bell that way anytime i post a video guys it'll let you know yeah until next time guys stay tuned for the rest of the south florida series